Good morning, everybody. I want to wish you a wonderful, blessed Monday and hoping that everybody is getting ready to have a fabulous day. I thought I would do another video and just show you, like, if you want to cook some greens, and I like turnip greens, and uh, but you don't want to make too many, you want a small batch, and I like a lot of turnips. I'm going to just show you a quick uh, video. Won't be any talking or anything again. Uh, where i am got probably more turnips than I do turnip greens. So you can come go with me. Let's go. Hope you're having a wonderful blessed day today. To God be the glory. You know I got to talk about my Lord and Savior first. I kind of got things set up because I just decided to do this now. So let's see how this goes. Let me show you this part. This is my little prep area over here. And what I already did, because like I said, I didn't even know I was going to do this. I already took um, some of my turnips. And in my large pot on the stove, I've got some of my turnips already. And the rest is just going to be the prep work from over here that you can see. Um, like I said, I'm not making a whole lot of greens. I'm just making... You're not going to believe this. I'm, I got three turnips total. They were pretty good sized turnips. And this is two of them chopped up. One is in the pot already. I put some chicken flavor bouillon in there. Not too much because this is salty. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of onion powder once I get the rest of my greens and turnips in. I've already put some black pepper in there too. That's all we're going to use. Simple and easy. I might, might put a little bit of oil in there because normally you know how you cook your greens and stuff with a ham hock or a turkey you know tail or something like that so I might put about two tablespoons of just regular olive oil or vegetable oil that tenderizes your greens uh, too all right I want to tell you today God can turn things around for you so so quick I know it for myself things that you saw as negative or a negative situation rather and um, God just turned it around so, so quick that you can't even believe it yourself and give you peace and joy. You're going to have a wonderful, blessed day and a wonderful, blessed week. So let's get started.
Okay, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful, blessed day. And hold on, let me set my timer. Okay, once again, um, today what I made was just some simple turnip greens and turnips. And like I said, sometimes you don't want a whole, like eight bunches of turnip greens or collard greens or mustard greens and all that because it's not Thanksgiving or a special day or you got a lot of people coming over to eat. But you do just want that, that flavor of, you know, just something that tastes really good and, uh, you know, got that wholesome soul food flavor but you don't want to make too much and have to eat it all week and then put more in the freezer especially coming up a month away from thanksgiving you want to start fresh so basically i had the taste for some turnip greens and some turnips and like i said sometimes i like just the turnips themselves more than the actual greens which is weird for me because i love greens and cabbage so Anyways, today what went in the pot was one bunch, that one bunch of turnip greens, three healthy turnips chopped up, and then I put about a tablespoon of this chicken flavor bouillon. You can use your other accent seasonings or whatever, but this gives it that good old-fashioned cooked all day taste. One tablespoon because it's salty. Onion powder. Be liberal, much as you want. I love the onion flavor. This cooks down really well, so about two tablespoons of onion powder. I normally use the apple cider vinegar, but I didn't want that extra mm today. Like I said, I'm keeping it simple, so I just used about a tablespoon of my regular white vinegar. I usually use olive oil, about two tablespoons, but today I'm using my vegetable oil. Same thing, I put about two tablespoons, just tenderizes it down. All right, I've got my kitchen timer set on 40 minutes. That's all it's going to take. I don't have no ham hock, no turkey leg, no turkey tail, or nothing. I just got vegetables in there. So 40 minutes. I do have it on a high boil, temperature boil. It is boiling away. Let me show you. i got the top on now. It is boiling away. Lots of steam coming out that pot. That's boiling good. All right, so I've got my kitchen timer set on about 40 minutes, and that's all it should take, just enough to tenderize those actual turnips down and those greens too. And then turn that heat off, and we should be done. And then decide what else we're going to make with it for today. I want to tell you again, God can turn things around so quickly to where sometimes your mind will trick you and it will make you think that, wow, I don't know what's going on, what's happening in my life. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, God will come through and clean it up. Just like you see all that stuff on the floor and you clean it up and get your vacuum cleaner. And in less than five minutes, your house is looking good, smelling good, feeling good. That's what God does. That's the Holy Spirit and God himself. Where he come in there in your life. And just when you think, once again, you know, things are like, oh, wow, mm, mm, mm. He come up in there, he vacuum everything up, get it looking good, smelling good, feeling good. A whole new beginning. A whole new beginning. And I want to tell anyone out there, sometimes people may say, oh, well, he's not always woe is me. And woe is what's going on. And that is true. But there may be one person that will see this video that they are going through the woe is me. <laughs> you know, I just want to just hear a reinforcement or sometimes... It's not that we take things for granted. Sometimes we just need that reminder that God is so good to us in the simplest things in our lives, like getting us up, getting us started, having a blessed day. Sometimes things, just say even as a parent or a grandparent or mom, dad, auntie, whoever, you'd be like, oh, I'm tired of taking these kids to school. <laughs> tired of cooking for these kids. I'm tired of doing this homework. I'm tired of doing all this cooking and I got to clean. Lord, I'm overwhelmed. But sometimes... But when we lose those things, we go back and say, oh, my God, if I had one more day with him to wipe up or clean up behind him, if I had one more day to fuss at my husband, if I had one more day to be mad at my wife, <laughs> sometimes the things that we took for granted that was getting on our nerves, 
you know, try and go to sleep, watch a TV program, children's coming up in there, you know, on you, you like, golly, I want to give them their bath, and they can go on and go to bed for the night. <laughs> but sometimes it's when we lose those things, and God reminds us those are the things that keep us together as a family of the Lord. And God truly does bless us. Y'all, it's a blessing when we get a husband of the Lord. It's a blessing when we get a wife of the Lord. It's a blessing when we get our children, our stepchildren, and they're all the same. I hate that word step and half. They're all children. Our grandbabies, <clears throat> great-grandbabies. Our friends, our relatives, it's a blessing. And when the Lord lets you hover, and that's the word of the day. I've come up with a new thing, a word of the day. Today's word is hover. When the Lord lets you hover over your life and look and see, you will start to be thankful and grateful for the things that you couldn't see at the time. And sometimes God allows that to happen. And then you get to go back and revisit it. So take it from me. Don't take any don't take God for granted, Jesus or the Holy Spirit. Powerful God, Jesus Christ laid his life down while we were yet and are still sinners. Lord have mercy. Left us with the Holy Spirit who is truly our comforter. And <clears throat> one last thing. Just want to tell you, enjoy your life. If you're not enjoying your life, don't focus on your negatives. Focus on your positives today. You may have been through some things in your childhood or even as an adult. But today, don't hover. There it is again. Sometimes you need to hover. That was the first way I used it in a sentence. Hover and look over your life. Go back and be thankful and grateful. Sometimes you don't need to hover. That's sentence number two. And sometimes when you don't need to hover is when you don't need to hover over your past mistakes or things that have gone on and you need to move on. And number three in a sentence is hover over the Lord's mercy, grace, and blessings. Hover number one, hover and look back over your life and be grateful. Hover number two, don't hover too much and look at your past mistakes or what's going on and move on and hover number three hover over the lord's merciful gratefulness and his love and his understanding and his peace which is all surpassing and how he can give you new blessings every day and hover on his amazing love and grace again all right 40 minutes we down to 32 32 minutes we're gonna have some good old greens turn up and greens in this pot and we're gonna figure out what else we're gonna put with it stay tuned everybody i hope you have a wonderful blessed day i know you are thank you everybody again for putting your testimonies and thank you those for coming in and support i appreciate you and love you so much and god loves you more stay tuned for what's going on in this kitchen and in this house and in this life and it's all about god all right be blessed hey powerful blessings on the way life is going to be better you know why because god said so and he's in control powerful blessings coming be blessed i love you and god loves you more don't forget check out my shorts y'all check out my shorts videos those videos show a lot of my little cooking processes during the day breakfast lunch dinner midnight snacks whatever and there's also some little tidbits of blessings in there too if you know what i mean all right be blessed everybody and thank you so much for your support i love you and god loves you more powerful blessings see you later